I shouldn't have gone home. Is he okay? Did he code? Just come see. Oh, God, where the hell is Shepard? Avery, tell me what's going on. Torres. Where you been? Pretty amazing recovery, right? Yeah, his sats are good. He's been weaned off pressers. Yeah, BP's 110 over 60. And he's making inappropriate sexual comments to Brooks. It's fine. <laughs> no, it's it's not. But uh, right now I'm really, really enjoying it, so. Mm. <laughs> you think it's a surge? Mm. Mm, might be. I don't know, I don't think it is. What's the surge? In many terminally ill patients, they have a final surge of energy. They get better before they get worse. But this is not that. But in a little while, he'll do what all patients do. <laughs> he'll have epiphanies. He'll tell you what really matters in life. Ask for his family. Man is telling dirty jokes. It's not a, a surge. <laughs> no, I don't think so either. Uh, a facial lack. Uh, oh, I had a consult this morning. Rest augmentation. B to D. Did you tell her her breasts were beautiful the way they are? No, I still think that's weird. Well, oh, I know you do, but you're wrong. You tell her she's beautiful just the way she is, and if she believes you, you save someone unnecessary surgical procedure. And that is definitely not how I talk to a patient. No, but it's how you talk to a woman, Avery. We're in the business of making people feel better about themselves. Again, sometimes when you talk, I feel like a male prostitute. She's a person on the precipice of change, Avery. She's scared and she's worried. God, the things we worry about, so pointless. And we get to help take that worry away. It's why we're doctors. It's actually why we're people. But somehow we forget that all that matters is people. And whether we walk away leaving them better or worse for having met us. We control that, Avery. I want you to promise me something. If you love someone, you tell them. Even if you're scared that it's not the right thing, even if you're scared that it'll cause problems, even if you're scared that it will burn your life to the ground, you say it, and you say it loud. And then you go from there. Hey, where's my kid? I want to see Sophia. Avery, why don't you run up to daycare and bring her down here? I can't bring a baby in the ICU. No, but you can sneak one in. Come on, Avery, grow a pair. You know what? Forget it. I'll do it. Oh, no, no, no. All right. I'll get her. I'll get her. Yes. My man. <laughs> 